friends! Today we're going to do the Wondrous Winter book tag. This tag was originally created by Victoria Mann, who I will link in the description box down below her original video if you would like to check that out, which I recommend you do, because there are multiple questions on this tag and about three or four of them I decided I didn't really have like a good answer for so I'm not going to answer everything um, but I will also put in the description box all of the questions um, for the tag I did leave a few of them blank but you know nobody's perfect so this tag is based off of a bunch of different Christmas movies so there's a Christmas movie and then a question that you're supposed to answer with a book Let's get to it. First is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Choose a book that you looked down upon until you realized what a fool you were. For that I didn't necessarily choose, I did choose a book, but it's more of like a genre overall. And for that I chose Next Year in Havana by Chanel Clayton. So this is both kind of like women's fiction, lit fic, a little bit of historical fiction. Like it's got a lot of boxes that are not my typical style of book. And I actually read this as part of the book club for my local indie bookstores book club a couple of years ago and I ended up really loving this. I ended up giving it a five star. Um, I really enjoyed like the view that we get of Cuba both back in the day. I think it was like in the 50s. Yeah, in 1958. Uh, and then also the present day, which was 2017 at the time. Um, so I really enjoyed the viewpoints of both of those time periods. Again, not something that I'm typically into. Um, not typically into a lot of what this book is technically supposed to be, uh, but this book specifically really worked for me and definitely made me pick up more books in the genre that I've also loved, like The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So I know that there are things in these genres that work for me now because of this book. I'm filming. What do you want? I don't know if you need anything from Walmart wrong with Jason there. Million dollars a cute boy, date with Tom Hiddleston, you know, all those things. Next is Frozen and choose a book with your favorite sibling relationship. And for that, I went with to all the boys I loved before, Margot, Kitty, and Laura Jean. I really love the dynamics of these three girls because each pair of sisters has a different dynamic as well as all three of them together. And I really like kind of the way that their relationships progress throughout the series. And as I sit here thinking about this, I'm thinking, I've never finished the movies. I've watched the first movie like 483,000 times, but I've never watched the second and the third movie, which considering I've watched the second and third kissing booths, I feel like something needs to be fixed here. So maybe that'll be something that we can do together in the future. You and me. Watching To All the Boys I Loved Before, maybe. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to do, a group watch of, of the To All the Boys trilogy. We could do that. Cool Runnings, choose a book where the characters are in a competition. I chose An Ember in the Ashes by Sava Tahir because in this first book, Elias is in a competition for a thing that I don't know that I can actually say without it being a spoiler, but I have again read the first three books in this series and not read the fourth because I loathe finishing things, obviously. Next is Home Alone, choose a book that when you read it, it did not have a fandom and you felt like you were home alone. I still feel this way for a lot of the times, uh, but I'm going with a semi-definitive list of Worst Nightmares by Crystal Sutherland. This was Crystal's second book. Um, her third book, House of Hollow, really had like some things going for it this year, so I'm hoping that this book gets picked up by more people because I absolutely love it. I recently made Julie at Pages and Pens read it and she cried like a baby and that makes me so happy to know that she also was torn apart and destroyed by this book. You guys know I'm not like a big tab person and I tabbed the heck out of this. I've read this book at least six times. I, I love it. I, it's almost like one of my favorite things about the new year is that in January I get to reread this book. I try to limit myself to one reread a year but sometimes I do hit it twice uh, this year. Only once so far. Uh, so I'm just like holding out three weeks to get to January so I can reread this book. Happy Feet. Choose a book whose title was so misleading that you now have trust issues. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. If you've read the entire series, you know why. Also, I haven't read the entire series, but I, but I know why. But if you've read the whole series, or if you, you know, just read enough like I did, you know why. Elf. Choose a book character who you think is a cotton-headed ninny-nuggin. 
And for that I went with The Evil Joes from Ten Blind Dates by Ashley Elson. I love this book. It's Christmassy so if you haven't picked it up yet highly recommend. It's a good Christmas read. It's fantastic. Our main character Sophie has a bunch of cousins and two of the cousins who are sisters their names are like Mary Jo and Jo Ellen I think and they are just referred to as the Evil Joes and they make this book and the sequel so much fun but also you hate them. Chronicles of Narnia choose a book with a character as self-sacrificing as Aslan. Now this is really hard to do because technically Aslan is the Narnia equivalent of Jesus which I guess is why we're putting this book on here because otherwise it's not Christmassy at all. I don't know. Uh, I have read the entire Chronicles of Nar Narnia series. So like I'm up on my Narnia. Uh, but anyway, I chose Cal from Hex Hall. Um, Cal you get very little of in this book but you get more of in the subsequent books in the trilogy and I think he is just one of the most fantastic, well done, and yes, self-sacrificing characters of any book I've ever read. I absolutely love him. And if anyone is close to Jesus, it's Cal. The Last Holiday. Choose a book that made you feel like you were going to die, whether from sadness or happiness or anger or whatever the case may be. And for that, I chose Amelia Unabridged by Ashley Shoemaker. I read this earlier this year. I have been yelling about it to you guys the entire year since I read the arc earlier this year. Uh, there is this book is so heartbreaking like you know right off the bat um, from the I'm like I'm I'm tearing up just thinking about it speaking of books that I want to reread in the new year who okay uh, so this book in the synopsis starts off with knowing that our main character and her best friend get into this fight and before they're able to patch it up the best friend dies and so she's like trying to deal with like all of the fallout and she meets this boy and he's got some fallout and you don't find out like what his shit is until like three quarters of the way into the book and when you figure it out it will fucking break your soul. I can't. This book is so good. So fantastic. And and you will feel like you died. So like highly recommend clearly. <laughs> Happiest season. Choose a book with your favorite sapphic romance. For me that is Perfect on Paper by Sophie Gonzalez. There is like a love quadrangle in this book that involves three women and one man uh, who all have a various degrees of sexual orientation. So I'm not going to tell you which characters because then you'll know who like ends up with who at the end. But I really loved this book and I really loved the characters uh, that end up in the couple and I think that they really worked out very well for each other. I think it worked with the plot and I think that those two people make a great relationship. Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Name a book that you would like to run over with a reindeer multiple, multiple times. For that I went with The Woods Are Always Watching by Stephanie Perkins and if you haven't watched last month's wrap up you should because <laughs> boy let me tell you I'll link that wrap up for you in case you're interested. It's a 10 minute rant and I highly recommend it. Rent. Choose a book that makes you want to sing or really any strong emotion and I went with the Something Strange and Deadly, well the whole trilogy uh, by Susan Dennard. This trilogy is has one of the weirdest, it's not a weird ending, it's just it's a perfect ending and it's not what you would expect an author to do. It's not what you as a reader want <laughs> for sure but and it's not like the end of the Divergent series okay like you don't have to worry about that but the ending it will break you in so many ways but it makes so much sense for the story and I absolutely love it but if she does something like this at the end of the Witchlands I will do absolutely nothing other than bitch to you about it but uh yes this book very strong emotions. The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. Choose a book character that makes you loathe humanity. I do not remember this character's name. I did not finish reading this book 
but we're talking about the main character from I Believe in a Thing Called Love by Maureen Gu, which Kate and I read as part of the AuthorTube Chat book club, which I will also link that live show for you down below. But yeah, no, thank you. Like that main character, she is a Looney Tune and she needs some serious help. She needs therapy in like all the worst ways. And the final question of this tag that I'll be answering is Ice Age. Name a book that turned you into Scrat with his acorn. Obsessive to the point of concern. If I held up any book other than the one I'm getting ready to hold up, you guys would call me a liar. For sure. Go ahead, take a moment. Guess. Did you guess the Truth Witch series by Susan Dennard? Because if you didn't, you were wrong. Uh, I mean, if in fact evidenced by the fact that this book is the first book in the series that is in that is in Serbian. I don't read Serbian y'all. I just have this random book in Serbian because I love the series so much that I had to have this cover because I love this cover so much. Uh, but I mean I have this one and this one and this one and oh wait and this one and uh hold on wait this one like I mean I have literally have five editions of this one book and I would have more if I could have more uh but I think I think five is good for now so that's it that is my wondrous winter book tag again I will be linking the original video down below as well as all the questions will be listed down there and whatever else I told you I would link down there I will link down there uh I will be linking also my uh Witchlands book collection in case you want to know more about these things uh but clearly I love them and again if I had said anything other than this y'all would call me a liar so I'm obsessed we know it we're okay with it like I can't really do anything about it at this point like we're here like I can't I can't do anything else about it we're here that is all I have for today I post reading writing book and planner related videos a couple of times a week if you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, including the rest of Advent, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!